I've seen quite a few landslides along the way so far today, but um, this one seems quite fresh. <laughs> what do I do now? Second flat tire in two hours. Let's find out how much it costs to fuel her up. She's on completely empty, so I'll fill it completely up and we'll see. The annoying thing about welding the side boxes to the side of my bike is it's really hard to get access to the fuel now. See, this is the key and it doesn't fit. Brilliant. So we have to take this off every time. that for? I, I don't even see the price. Just see loads of numbers. Uh, so he gave, okay, so he charged me 90,000. Is that expensive? That seems expensive. Let's get out of this city. I've loved Hanoi. It's brilliant. It's so much fun. And we'll be back, you know, once we've done the north, we'll stop in Hanoi for a few more days. I barely scratched the surface of this city, you know. So we'll, we'll do it justice when we come back. But really, my goal is over the next few days to get to the actual northernmost point of this country and start the actual big challenge, which is to go from the northernmost point to the southernmost point. But it's about a three day, four day drive to that point. Man, it feels good to be back on the road. It was bittersweet to say goodbye to Hanoi. That place was bustling. And the road ahead was daunting but exciting. So a big couple of deep breaths and I was set on my way. Found a nice route that avoided more of the heavier motorways with trucks and things. And I was just able to wind and bounce my head to music and have a great time. It was also very hot and sunny today, so I pulled over, put some sun cream on, and also realized I didn't really have anything navigated. So I put somewhere on my phone. I was trying to get to the northernmost point of Vietnam on the border of China. There was no way we would make it today, but we'd probably get there in two or three days from now. I was upbeat, I was positive, but then of course... I've almost certainly got a flat tyre. I can't tell if it's the front one or the back one. But we're shaking and I have no traction. So it's just a waiting game until it gets really bad. Normally, you can feel it coming and then you have about a kilometre or two. And then the rubber squeezes out all the rest of the air. And and I'm in the middle of nowhere, like... This will be an interesting situation because it's our first flat tyre on our first big day. And, I mean, all these landslides and things, we've seen so many of these. Oh, I can really feel the, I think it's the back tyre. So let's just hope we come to a village and, uh, get it sorted. Okay, I saw some guys drinking tea, maybe beer. Let's go ask them and let's go see which, which tire is it. Oi, come on. Hello. Hello. Pretty sure it's the, the back tire. Oh my God, it's so hot. Yeah. Hey, how are you? This isn't even a garage, this is just a little shop. 
Looks like they sell cement. So I think this bloke is actually gonna fix it for me. What's this? Salted lemon. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> oh, that's really good. <laughs> oh, it tastes like a frozen margarita. That is amazing. <laughs> Whilst he's fixing the tire, there's a bit of an onking sound over here. I think there's a giant pig. Oh, hello. <coughs> oh. How are you? Oh. It's, it's a GoPro, you can't eat it. There's the puncture. Sometimes they find nails and pins and all sorts of weird stuff that is the cause and sometimes they can get stuck inside the tire. You know what? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, from England. Yeah. Quarter past two in the middle of nowhere in the beautiful countryside of Vietnam. And this is my breakfast, my lunch. And a well deserved um, hair of the dog. This is my decoy wallet in case I get pulled over by the police. What have I got in here now? 10, 30, 40, 46. How much is it? I think he's gonna show me a note and say, give me one of these. 100,000, okay, okay. Let me see if he wants a beer. Thank you very much, can I buy you a beer in Vietnamese? Okay. And one for him. Yeah. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Problem solved. If you're ever in this town in the valley, you can get your bike fixed there. <laughs> okay. 50 kilometers. There's a lake and a town. And then I think that'll that'll be that'll be day one on the bike, guys. And it's raining up ahead. I can see dark clouds. But I feel better after drinking that beer. <laughs> Woo. I've seen quite a few uh, landslides along the way so far today, but um, this one seems quite fresh. <laughs> mm. Gotta get it in front before they get the next truck. Oh, I think we missed our chance. <laughs> Surely this is gonna stop. Okay, well let's hope there's not a landslide <laughs> when we're driving past, you know? Wouldn't be a nice way to go, having a ton of million lots to walk to. I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding you, I have another flat tire. I just heard like a, a pop sound and some hissing. The GoPro's turned off and I have a flat tire. 
covered in mud and it's just about to rain. <laughs> oh. I don't know what happened, but like I just went through a puddle and everything just got soaked in this like clay colored mud it's all over my shoes and jeans. It kind of looks cool. But I've, I've got another flat tire. It's the back tire again. And that's a bad one. As I was driving, I just heard a pop and a hiss. And it wasn't a gradual thing. I didn't have two kilometers to play with. I had 200 meters. Luckily, I've broken down at this lake. And there's a few guest houses here. So that's good. Check out this guest house, Nanagi guest house. Hello. Uh, my 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 motorbike oh. is broken. <laughs> maybe we stay in this town, or maybe we get it fixed. What time is it now? It's only 20 past three. We could still, we could still keep going, but. Goodbye. Yeah, look. There's a flat tire. Ah. Oh. No, no, I, I can, I can, I can. Let me call someone to change the tire for you. Okay, good. She said I can stay here, and she knows somewhere that does yummy food. Have you come to fix my bike? Soon after the rain, someone will come and fix your car. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it here for this episode. I've got some problems to fix and I've got to sort myself out, ready for more adventures in the next video. So if you wanna find out how I fix this second flat tire and what this town on this lake is like and the road further north, then I'll see you in the next one in a couple of days. And uh, this is what I love, man. I'm covered in mud, I'm wet, my bike has broken twice. I'm in the countryside, in a beautiful country. It might look stressful, it might look annoying, but deep down, this is one of the best days of my life. <laughs> Seriously, this is what I live for. Just mad adventure. All right, let's go eat and fix this bike. <laughs>